Kia ora. we are learning to organise place value. We can do this using a hundreds, tens and ones chart board. So the number that I'm going to give you is going to be 125. So if we have a look at our hundreds and tens and ones board, we could line the number up. So I can write the number 125 using this term helps us identify which number is the hundreds, which number is the tens and which one is the ones. Another way we can do this is we can use the hundreds, tens and units chart or another way of saying ones to work out what the number is. Now looking at our hundreds, tens and units so if we count up the beads we've got 100, 200 so the number is 200 we've got 10, so we put 110 in the 10 column and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 ones or 4 units in the unit column so that gives us the number 214. Now before you come down to meet me at the workshop I'd like you to show me an example of how you can write this number 1325 so you can give this a go by drawing your own hundreds and tens and units and thousand board. So just do a quick little board. I've been sneaky and added in an extra number. So we have got our thousands, our hundreds, our tens and our ones. If you can come and write this number down for me and show me how you understand setting place value for hundreds, tens and ones and the thousands. See you next time.